Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look with the Naruto palette by Colourpop. First of all, let me just say that I absolutely loved the whole collection that Colourpop sent me. It is really, really nice. Um, These colors are not that easy to blend though, I will say that. But I still got the job done with these eyeshadow shades. So first we're going to be going in with this blue color. Which is going to be the only blue that we're going to be using. And we're going to be applying this all over our crease and below our crease. I recommend that if you create this eyeshadow look. You start to grab small amounts of powder and then apply it. Because it is easy to get messy with this blue shade. Because I mean it's blue you guys. <laughs> As you guys can see, now I'm drawing a little tail out in the outer corner and I'm using tapping motions so that the product sticks to the concealer because I did not set my concealer. Now I'm doing small circular motions, you guys, just to blend out that shade and get it to go darker and deeper. Do not go above your crease, you guys. Only slightly at the top, not too much because we're going to be using a clean brush to make this eyeshadow look more blended. As you guys can see, I grabbed this fluffy brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection by Morphe. They have been my favorite brushes for like years now. <laughs> and I'm um, using this to blend out the eyeshadow so that it expands towards the top and it just looks more smoky and blended. So it's okay to touch your eyebrow with this brush, you guys, because it's clean. It doesn't have that much product. So it's okay to go all the way to the top so we get the best results. Next, we're going to be taking some more of this blue shade, you guys, and we're going to be applying it in this same area. Excuse how patchy it looks right now. I don't know why I did this, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be cleaning our eye with the eye makeup remover. And we're going to be cutting our crease with this Q-tip, you guys. If you don't know, this is from my website. The link is down below in the description if you guys want to purchase them. This is honestly my favorite part of the eyeshadow. I love seeing after my crease has been cut. I love how sharp the look looks. It just, I don't know, I can't explain it, but I really like it. <laughs> I recommend you guys use this technique. It just give the, gives this a more dramatic effect, you guys. Because when you clean it out and you add a base, it just stands out so much more and it makes the color pop. So as you guys can see here on the little tail, I'm just, it's like if I'm drawing eyeliner, you guys. It's the same way, just that it's, you know, eyeshadow. So we're using the clean side now with no liquid and I'm just dragging that out there just with whatever is left over. And now I'm using the Beauty Creations foundation because of the thick consistency that it has. I really love this foundation to cut my crease, you guys. It gives you such a nice clean base. How dare you? That's my alarm. Ignore that. That was my alarm to wake up at 6.50, but I've been up for an hour, you guys, so disregard that. <laughs> right now, I'm just applying my um, Beauty Creations uh, foundation, you guys. But let me just tell you, this brush that I use is from my website. The link is down below. It is from my brush collection from Mrs. Emily Paints Cosmetics. I love this brush for doing this, you guys, because it's so small. It's so small and it's easy to get into those smaller areas. So I do recommend it. Go check it out. Next, we're going to be going in with this shimmery shade, you guys. I got the inspiration for this tutorial from the palette itself. It has the pictures in the front and I saw the combinations of blue and orange. So this is why I came up with this look. This isn't even filmed as a mini tutorial, you guys. I didn't like how it came out. <laughs> but anyways, I have this one for you guys, so that's good. When you're applying this shade, you guys, make sure you do not touch the blue at all because this is a shimmery shade. We don't want, you know, the little sparkles on the blue. It's just going to kill the whole thing. So just be very careful. Take your time and make sure you pat this all over that base. Okay, and now you guys, I'm going to be cleaning out that outer corner with a Q-tip and my makeup remover liquid. If you need some guidance to draw this line, you guys, just follow your waterline. If you have trouble with this, I recommend you guys use tape before you start doing your eyeshadow. And get specific tape, you guys, like for your eyes. That way it doesn't hurt, not regular tape. <laughs> and um, yeah, it'll help you as a guide. 
And now I'm going in with the Italia Deluxe eyeliner, you guys. This is a very matte black eyeliner. It says it's waterproof, but I don't think it is. <laughs> but it still does its job, which I really, really love. Honestly, this is probably the darkest and more most like mattest eyeliner I have ever used. So it is my favorite. I've been using it for years, you guys. I've mentioned this one in all of my other videos. It's just perfect. Anyways, comment the word orange down at the bottom, you guys, in the comments if you have watched his video all the way up until now. I just want to make sure I know who are the real ones that actually sit here and watch my whole tutorials. It's nice to know the people that are actually being super supportive. I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> Next, you guys, we're going to be going in with a mascara, and I'm going to be using this one by Morphe. I'm only going to apply a couple of coats just so that my eyelashes blend in with my false lashes. What's your favorite mascara, you guys? If you have any recommendations for a mascara that makes your lashes longer, let me know because mine are super short and I hate it. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going in with my eyelashes and these, I got them on Amazon, you guys. They were super cheap. They're amazing. I like to use these because I film a lot of makeup tutorials, so I need like a bunch of eyelashes to use. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, now that my other eye is done, this is the finishing look. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Remember to like this video, subscribe, let me know what you think. And if you have any color recommendations down below, please let me know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!